to be at 0 0.560. I'm so close. So close. It's like a cunt tear away. Well, it might be gonna be a little tight right there, but before I shave any more off, I'm gonna have to get the other piece ready first and just to see. Well, here's the piston. Lowering grooves in there. We're still gonna put a little concave on the top there so that you can put your char cloth in or whatever you have you not. But I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet. Probably gonna cut it off right about there. So that way the piston can go up, machine this back, and then put the piston in there and then machine it so both sides are the same. And then drill a hole through the bottom, tap it, and put this little bolt in there, this carriage bolt. That way, because aluminum soft, if you keep hitting it, it's gonna start denting it. But if I have that on the bottom, then it's got that little button. It's a little stronger, so we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna throw this in the lathe. We're gonna drill a hole all the way through it from both ends, and then we could start machining it to get this piston inside. So let's get that fired up in the lathe right now. Well, we got everything set up. Punch a hole through it. Well, I pretty much drilled through this side as far as I could possibly go because I'm getting to the ends of the flute on the drill. So we're just going to back this out. Or just stop it. See how well she'll cut now. I think we're through. Well, I'm ready to start. We already got our hole through, so we're going to take the 9 16th drill bit. And I marked it how far in I can go, which is basically going to take me to the edge of right there because that's about as far as I want my piston to travel. So I also modified my drill bit and ground it down right here so chips can get out because we're gonna go past where I'm gonna go. So let's get this started, wish me luck. So here I am right here, got it looped up. So we got some compression going on there now do now is punch the hole in the end and that's where our material will go. I just basically need to go deep enough that I can put some stuff in there. Uh, maybe a little bit deeper. I think that might be good. So this is where we're at right now. We got the hole drilled through. 9 16 I got a double O-ring piston here to help with compression. We drill the hole through the top right there where our material will end up going. Now, I guess we should really see before we do anything else is to put the top in and then shoot the bottom with compressed air to make sure that we're gonna have an airtight seal here. So one thing too, the inside of the cylinder was kind of rough. I wrapped some 400 grit um, sandpaper and then and that helps I don't know how much it helps but to get rid of some of the sharpness in there but like I said what we're gonna do is check to make sure we got an airtight seal let's hook up my air gun Oh yeah, we're good right there, we're good.
part the aluminum block off this will go a little smoother aluminum machines really nice and I think we're done almost a few more things We're coming along. What we gotta do now, I got a nice little angle cut in there. We're gonna drill and tap for this. So that's gonna be our button we're gonna snap on. But we're gonna put this back in the lathe. We're gonna face this end off. Cut a groove in there so it's tapered a bit so the O-rings don't get cut up. Well, we're almost done. This is all chamfered. Man, I don't know what's that light. This is all chamfered. This is all drilled out and tapped so I could fit this button on the bottom. Double O-ring. So what we're gonna do now is that there's a difference between this size and this size. So I'm gonna lube it up, put it in, put the top in, create a vacuum, and I'm gonna see if I could turn it on the lathe. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but we're gonna find out. I think it's gonna work. I'll cut this. Then I'll make one cut on aluminum and then I'll cut everything to the same size. Well, I got it completed. I'm just going to put some Loctite on the threads. Red and then we're going to screw it into the bottom. Well, I got it made and there's lots of compression in there as you can see. So this is in the end. This is what my fire piston looks like. The ORB top. Got a stove bolt or whatever it is in the bottom because the aluminum's soft so you can smash it down on something. We got that all tapped in there and locked tight. Double O-ring and a hole in the top. Put your char cloth in. So in the end, this is the final look of the fire piston that I machined. Would have been cheaper to buy one instead of the time it took me to machine it, but that's not the fun involved. But I will do a video of the char cloth once I get some char cloth made up, which will be in another video, and we'll put this to the test. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.